What's up, JT Gunner here, back with more of the remake of Resident Evil 2. So, we basically played through the intro, we kinda got started. Leon arrived at the police station, and now we gotta, uh, find some funny medallions so we can get the heck out of here. Because, uh, the, uh, the Raccoon City Police Department apparently are a colorful bunch, and, uh, they have a secret exit out of their police station. But you must find the medallions three. So... That's basically the ultimate goal for now. And, oh yeah, there's a zombie apocalypse if you didn't know. <laughs> so, yeah, so we're just gonna be looking around. So anyway, yeah, we also have a knife, so yeah, we can stab with that. But, of course, there's only a certain amount of uses uh, knives have before you, uh, before it breaks and then you just have no knives. But anyway, we'll grab those bullets. Yeah, put them right there. Load up the gun. All right. You find anything else? I don't know. So this game, of course, is a lot more survival horror than obviously its sequels, <laughs> namely four. Not not so much three. Three is very much survival horror still. So this ain't gonna be the run and gun adventure that four was. If you're familiar with four, and I like Resident Evil Four. It's a really good game. Anyway, ah, I like it when it's all bright and you know. Full of light. We have a safe here, but we don't have a combination. We're gonna have to find that so we can get the goodie in there. There's the iconic green herb. Of course, that's the uh, iconic healing item of the Resident Evil games. A guide pamphlet. Welcome to Raccoon City. Did you know, while we are the home of the pharmaceutical giant Umbrella Corporation, Raccoon City, for some reason city is not capitalized, is a vibrant and dynamic city with a long, rich history of its own. In this guide, we will introduce you to just a few more unusual points of interest our city has to offer. Raccoon City Police Station. The building in the center of town wasn't always a police station, but in fact, it used to be an art museum. Why would they turn the- I have no idea. Various features like the unusual clock tower and the goddess statue in the main hall remind us of a bygone era. Oh, well, damn. Okay, Raccoon City. Orphanage. Just a few blocks from the police station is an orphanage founded and run by the Umbrella Corporation. And by the by, Umbrella Corporation is evil. I, I, technically, that's not spoilers anymore by this point in the in the game. And why is my mouse showing up? I don't know. Anyway. The hope of generous donations from businesses and citizens alike. The building is known for its stained glass window, which attracts visitors from around the world. It's it's a I mean Orphanages are good and all, but why why would that be a tourist destination? What is with the city? I guess since Umbrella Corporation, like I said, is an evil corporation, they just genuinely give no fucks, which, okay. Fair. Alright, so we're just gonna leave through here and uh, see what else we can find. I don't I don't think there's anything else. I think we have to go back into the darkness. I don't- is there a way back through that uh, shutter? So I think, uh, I think, what's his name? I think Marvin slammed it shut, didn't he? Alright, but we need to get through. We need to get out of here. We need to start doing some exploration. Hey, Lieutenant, any tips? Nope. Okay, well, I'll leave you be. Yeah, you can tell. We try to, try to make this place into like a temporary sanctuary or something because we got like all these uh, cots and supplies and things out here. Anyway. Oh, now we have the knife. We can uh, cut that open and uh, open this shutter. Okay, cool. All right. This is not how I imagined my first day. Ah, uh, I bet. Imagine going to your first day of work. All of a sudden, there's zombies everywhere. Yeah, I'll get the bullets. Load up my gun fully. There we go. God, I hear my own footsteps. It's freaking me out. It's like, oh my god, what's that noise? It's the sound of Leon's big feet thumping on the ground. <laughs> anyway, let's let's keep going. All right. Back to the darkness, which means there are zombies afoot. You need to be careful. Got to check every nook and cranny for anything good. But there's also some creeps, you know, crawling around. So you have to be careful. Oh. There's a radio. Let's listen in. You a zombie man? Yeah, he's all fucked up, ain't he? Oh God. That ain't good. What? Who's drinking sodas in the police station? Jesus Christ, how'd they do that? 
Like, somebody must force that to happen. Holy shit. These zombies might be- Oh, boy! Yeah, these zombies might be smarter than I thought. I don't have the club key. I don't have the spade key, don't have the club key. I have no keys. I can't open these doors. Oh, boy. Yeah, and then you have these windows, which zombies will come through. If you find, like, wood, you can find wood that will sort of mitigate that. So, there you go. We need to we need to find some wood. We need to find a bunch of things, actually. Oh, boy, God. You freaked me the fuck out, asshole. Oh, boy. Well, he's going to break through that window eventually. In fact, he already did. Where's she? Either way, I'm going to keep on moving. Oh, God, that's barbed wire. Okay. Shit. Oh, yeah. Tell me about it. Okay, yeah. Leon does have a little bit of sway with his aim in this game, which... You know, I was sort of complaining about that in a... Come on, us... Oh, us... I, I was pressing left trigger instead of left bumper. That's why it took me... A god... <laughs> that's why it didn't uh, do anything. But yeah. Leon has more sway with his aim. Which, uh... Again, not a big deal for this game, because this game is not a running gun. Like, if you watch my playthrough of the remake of 4, you know... Like, even even original 4, Leon had a little bit of sway with his aim, but that game was still more generous with your, like, aiming and shooting. 4 remake, not so much. But that game... That game tried to do two things at once and wasn't always successful. I mean, I still liked Resident Evil 4 remake, don't get me wrong. It's still, it's still a fun experience, it's just... Yeah, but this game is definitely more survival horror, so obviously I can forgive, you know, the lack of accuracy that you're given because, well, you, really you're supposed to be more careful. You're really, you really need to be careful. You really need to conserve your ammo. You need to be, you really need to just be like, <laughs> you know, on it. So anyway, we, we can't climb out the window, and we... Because I know there's some open windows, but we can't, like, climb out and explore out there. Oh, Lord! Stop screaming at me! Okay. I'm gonna die yet? Yeah, no, I was saying, oh, you gotta conserve your ammo, you gotta conserve your ammo. And there I go, I just use a lot of ammo against that asshole. But anyway, yeah, we gotta, we gotta look through here. We really gotta look through here, see what we can find. Okay. Because we really can't get through here. That's got barbed wire and shit. Ah, there's a door. Alright. On this little office area. So what can we find? What can we find? Ah, record of events. September 25th, we're turning the station into a temporary shelter due to the massive sudden outbreak. All police personnel have been instructed to make the safety of the citizens their top priority as we try to accommodate as many of them as possible. September 25th, addendum. One of the refugees attacked us in the middle of the night, resulting in the death of one officer and injuring three others. The person in question was quickly restrained. We believe this is simply a case of someone snapping under intense stress. September 26th. A mob attacked the station today, resulting in a number of casualties. A few survivors were able to make it safely behind the emergency shutters, but are but surrounded as we are, it'll be hard for any of us to escape this place. We're not sure we can fix any of our comm equipment, so we remain cut off from the outside world. September 27th. There's another clash at the west side of the station around 1pm. Twelve people died, and there's only a handful of survivors left. Everything is falling into disarray in here, David Ford. Ah, oh, shit. Everything's really going to shit. Alright. Gotta map the station. There we go. Alright. So, I think when a room is blue... Yeah, there's a there's a legend down there. So when a room's blue, that means you found everything in the room. If a room is red, that means that you haven't found everything. Or something something like that. So, there you go. Anyway. we go up here. Oh boy. Alright, big man. Stop banging on that vending machine. Sometimes it just eats your money. Anyway, we can't really go back here, can we? Anything back here before we go over there? Well, you look like you got something on you. More bullets. Thank you. You're how very kind. Yeah, ignore me. There you go. Nah, I think you noticed me. Okay. Okay, big man. Me and you. Alright. Ooh. Nice headshot. You didn't score a good headshot. 
you don't have to worry about them. So there you go. The thing over here, I thought I saw, I thought I saw an icon pop up, but it didn't. All right, what's in here? Can we open this door? No, we can't. Okay. So let's go over here. Ah, got to be something in here. We have a combination thing to open these lockers, I guess. And they got the goodies in here, but we have no... No way of opening these lockers right now, huh? Or, wait a minute. If I were to, say, type in... 109... Oh, we, we're missing keys, aren't we? Yeah, we are missing keys, so... Okay, all we have to do is just type in the numbers of the lockers we want to open. Okay. So that's simple. So 109's open. Alright, what else? We've got 102, 103, 106. Of course, we can open 109. Okay. There we go. Alright, so here we go. Yeah, we're missing 2 and 3. So, yeah, we can't get those. Can't get 106, huh? Whatever's in there, I think it's a grenade. Okay. All right. Roll film. Ooh, we need this, don't we? Cool. All right. And then let's check these lockers. We got 203. Let's got a bag, which will expand our inventory space, but we're missing a two key. Yeah, we're missing a two key, so we can't even enter. We can't even uh, open any of these lockers, huh? Oh, shoot. Okay. Of course, we need, like, a key card to get in there, which we don't have. So Mr. Shoddy will be out of our reach for now. All right. Whoa, hey you. This is occupied. He doesn't know I'm here though. There you are. Hey you. Left bumper. There we go. I remembered. But now he's got our knife stuck in him, so if we want it back. We're going to have to uh get it from him. All right. Hey man, looks like you've been disarmed. Okay. Okay. Yeah, taking my knife back, asshole. There we go. Alright, so... Found some goodies. Alright, what do we do here now? What we do here now? I don't know. We're gonna have to keep looking, huh? Can't open this door, can we? But yeah, we can. Can't we? See, I see an icon. Okay. I think that door is just locked, huh? Yeah, okay. So, we'll leave that alone. To the west office. Besides more zombies, because I can totally hear them. Gunpowder, we'll take that, and our inventory is full. This is gunpowder. And gun ammo. E2 gunpowder, shotgun shells, gunpowder, and high grade gunpowder. Then mag ammo. Okay, so. It's not a lot of ammo left around the station, so make good use of any gunpowder you find. Different guns require different ammo, so pay attention when you're combining things or you won't get what you need. Yep. Alright, so... Yeah, we have gunpowder. We can craft that into ammo. Oh, shit. I hear that. I hear some spookies. Some spooky zombies. Anyway, what's, what's over here? Operation report. September 28th, 2.30 a.m. It's down to just me and three others. No weapons, no ammo, and too many skirmishes have drained us mentally and physically. We're not going to make it. Officer Phillips once suggested we escape through the sewers. Apparently, there's a secret tunnel under this place left over from its museum days. Why would there be a secret tunnel under a museum? I have no idea. I brushed your idea off before, but now it's not sounding all that bad. Yeah, there's no proof there's even a tunnel or that the sewers aren't infested with zombies, but I don't want to sit here and wait to die either. It's a long shot, but I'm going to try to find out what I can about that tunnel. Elliot Edward. Oh boy. I thought I was done with your ass. Rookie's first assignment. Leon S. Kennedy, we are putting you on a very special case for your first assignment. Your mission is to unlock your desk. Oh boy, the key to your success is the initials of our first names. Input the letters in order of our desks. There are two locks, one on each side of your desk. Make sure you get them both. Okay, so we got a puzzle in here. Basically, your first test is to remember your fellow officer's names. But you figured out that much, right? Good luck, Leon. By the way, it might take a little work to get God to give you a straight answer. Lieutenant Brana. Oh boy. 
scrawled in a corner between drops of blood. Be glad you're not here, rookie. Oh shit, man. Okay. What the? Come on. There we go. Yeah, I need to do some puzzle solving in here, buddy. Okay, so we have David Ford. That was Elliot. Who's was this? Neil. Neil, Elliot, and David. So, Neil, Elliot, David. There we go. So, that's one lockdown. This one is Marvin, Rita. Oh, God. Okay. Hey, buddy. First day on the job. Can you tell me your name? All right. I'll shoot it out of you then. Maybe. Hopefully. Okay. Let's get some distance. Oh, did he fall over? Okay. Cool. All right. Let's figure out this asshole's name. Welcome, Leon. Yeah. Great first day on the job. What was this asshole's name? I have no idea. We have to kill him for a name. Where's his body? Right here? It was right here. I don't know. Good lord. Maybe. Oh yeah, health and recovery items. As you take damage, your health monitor in the bottom left will drop from fine to caution to danger. When in danger, quickly heal yourself with a green herb or a first aid spray before it's too late. Yeah, we'll be fine for now. So. Rana. Elliot, David, so M, R, and I just don't know who this guy was. Like we're gonna have to keep, we're gonna have to keep guessing. Or, hmm, let's see. Nope, 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 nope. There we go, G. Okay, that was a bit of a guessing game, but we did it. A high-capacity mag for for the Matilda. Okay, cool. Now we can have more bullets. Nice. All right. We are kind of out of inventory space. I might use up a green herb. Let's let's go ahead and let's go ahead and do that. I, I think we might want to. You know, I hate hate to waste green herbs because yeah, you are limited on resources in this game. But yeah, I think that might be enough. Oh Lord, who said you could come back to life? There we go. There you go, G. I think you were G. Anyway, what's over here? Oh, we can't open that door. We don't have the key. Well, damn. All right. We're not done exploring in here, though. According to the map, but... There's only so much you can do to explore. So, anyway. Oh, God. Where the fuck you come from, buddy? I might just want to leave him be, don't I? Okay. Let's just run a lap. Oh! Come get me. Yeah, you'll figure it out. There we God go. Damn it. Okay. Three bullets left. We have no combination to the safe. Alright. Well, damn. No, we're kind of getting close to time, so... Let's find something else. What else can we do? The funny police station before we uh, move on with our lives. And open that door. That's right. West office. Right there. More funny zombies. Anyway, I'm gonna go over here. Ah! Wood! Yeah, that's what I was talking about. The wooden boards. And we're gonna stick him right there. There you go. Good luck getting in, asshole. Okay. So, anyhow. I'm gonna grab the screen herb now. I think we'll leave it be. For now. Anyway. Ooh. Good typewriter. Medicinal benefits of herbs. 
Humans have used herbs to treat sickness and disease since the dawn of time. In this book, we will explore these such herbs native to the Arclay Mountains. Green herbs have the ability to heal basic injuries, while blue herbs have long been used to treat poisoning. As for red herbs, they are visually appealing, but they offer no medicinal benefits, or so was thought until recently. It's well known that combining herbs together produces blends that heighten the herbs' effects, but it's been discovered that the red herbs can play a big role when mixed properly. According to one doctor of Asian medicine, mixing blue and red herbs together produces a blend that will strengthen one's constitution. Truly, we have only just begun to realize the full potential of these herbs and their ability to heal the human body. Further research is sure to yield even more fascinating results. It sure will. Anyway, let's save the game. Because you can never save enough. And, uh, shall we keep going for a little bit? Ooh. We can, uh, we can develop the film in the dark room. Let's do that. So, let's, let's use. Commemorative, commemorative photo. Alright, so... There's a statue of a king, and it's got a scepter and a book. Gotta keep that in mind. Alright. So, yep. Now we've developed the film, and there's the red herb. So we can, uh, put that right there. Combining items. Some items can be combined with other items, either to free up a slot or to create something new. Use the combine command to do just that. So we're gonna do just that. Combine the green and the red herb. Not only will it give us more inventory space, but it's... Gonna be a stronger herb. Store our health fully, so... There you go. Alright. What's this? Film contains evidence. Do not leave out. Well... Turn on the light. Okay, there we go. Alright, let's open these lockers. Handgun ammo? I'll take it. Definitely need that. I've been using way too much ammo. Gunpowder. Speaking of which... Whoop, wrong button. Let's... Ooh, there we go. Even more handgun ammo. Okay, I think we're at a good stopping point now, so... I'll save again. Yeah, I, I keep saving too much. But anyway, that's gonna be it for this video. We will explore more of this funny police station next time. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Do me a solid. Hit that like button. Leave a comment and subscribe if you haven't already. That would help me out a lot, and I do appreciate your support. But that's it. I'm done talking now, so I will talk to you guys later.